How's it going, by And welcome back to Dead State Reanimated with me, Noble. Now, like I said, we just ended the day. Now, I went ahead, and since Paul just arrived, I know he was depressed, I went ahead and gave him the cigar that we had get, gotten like two episodes ago. I figured, why not? I went ahead and gave out the extra pack of batteries to Doug and the bourbon to Vic and brought them all up to happy because, you know, we lost a lot of morale during that event that we had the other day. So... Uh, because of the horses, we're actually losing a lot more food. We actually lost eight food on top of the new ally we got. So we got 51 and eight, uh, but because of the food uh, saver ability, we're down to 44. We are losing a lot of food quickly. I'm glad we got that horse because, uh, you know, I, I was going to say, hey, we need to uh, take today off, but I don't think we can take today off. We need to bring in a lot more food. Otherwise, this number is going to drop quick. The shelter fence was attacked. The undead did 33 damage to the fence. The earliest they could attack again is day 26, which actually is only a couple days from now. Okay, because we didn't have any guards on duty, that's what happened. We're not going to worry about that because we're going to eventually upgrade it to stone. I must ask you, please don't ask me to accompany you outside. The sight of the dead, it fills me with profound grief and for my friends lost and all the people I sacrificed to get here where I am today. And being asked to hurt other human beings goes against my every moral fiber I have. Well, it's going to suck when a raider comes up behind you and strikes you upside the head and does whatever they want to with you because uh, you ain't got the option if you don't fight back, buddy. All right. Probably better for both of you didn't come along. Honestly, two would be a better choice, but I don't want to risk him as moral dropping, so we'll go with that. Thank you. I've been uh, unable to sleep just thinking about the time before we found this place. It still gets to me. I should ask uh, for God to give me the strength to see me through this, and I shall pray for you and those like you who bear the burdens of traveling outside the sanctuary. This ain't sanctuary. This is just a shelter, buddy. About the tower... I didn't think you were going to make the right call and listen to me, or listen to my advice, but you did. You might not be completely incompetent, like every other person I, uh, that's run part of our organization that I've uh, worked for. Congratulations to you for that. Well, thank you for not feeling that I'm inferior. Eh. <laughs> Why aren't you up there right now? Well, that was... Uh... Oh, what's a necessity? Why aren't you up the right? I will go with that one. Well, because I need a, I need to blacken my eyes first. Of course, I'm not going to sit there and get shot in the eyes because uh, I made a rookie mistake. Jeez. Right. That's actually to cut down on uh, light reflection, like for football players and stuff. It's not really for <laughs> camouflage. That's not really gonna help. Oh no! The exact opposite happened as last time. Shoot. No, well, bad news. When I woke up this morning, nothing electrical seemed... Oh, it wasn't that one. I haven't been able... I've uh, been down there for myself for obvious reasons, but I think the generator's busted. Okay, I thought it was the water. I was like, oh, no, the situation came back to bite me, but it isn't. This is a completely different situation. I just want to let you know, I figured I'd give you the heads up before complaints roll in. I jotted down something about uh, it on the job board for you. So I've checked out the shelter and talked to people, and it's a pretty impressive feat. I like this guy. He's pretty cool. But uh, we're going to need uh, people and supplies, and that's a lot we can't uh, that can go wrong. Train for this in the military. Would you like my advice? Absolutely. Yeah, between him and Bud, I, I feel like we got a good, solid team now. I mean, sure, we got, you know, Vincent, or, uh, uh, Vin or you know what I mean, the cop guy. <laughs>
I'm not reading this because it's a lot of stuff, and I'm thinking that it's just common sense stuff. Now, this part I don't entirely agree with because we're running out of food really quick now. I mean, I grabbed a lot of Twinkies from that uh, shop, and I'm like, okay, that food's going to run out like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll go ahead and talk about this one. Good. I've seen well-meaning people commit some brutal acts in the name of safety. I'll let you know uh, if I think you're going out of the uh, reservation. Speaking uh, of going off, I should grab some chow before today's activities. See you at roll call. Ah, there you are. I ever tell you about the time I got to... I didn't give you the bourbon. I gave Vincent, uh, Vince the bourbon, not you. I was in the jungle. See, next thing I know, nah, that's not how it went. Well, I'm guessing you're not, not running the garden today, huh? You know, I've uh, regret most ever learned drinking song. Not one. Irish. I got some good ones. You know, I went to Ireland. Guess uh, it's too late now, huh? Hey, uh, want to go on the clock? Because uh, I got to take a piss nap. <laughs> Take a piss snap. Oh, I love that. That 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 line right there. That that is probably the best line in this entire game so far. I got I gotta take a piss nap. <laughs> oh, I wish that could be like a catchphrase. Like, man, I I gotta go take a piss nap. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, are you planning on falling asleep first and then pissing yourself? Or do you plan on falling asleep at the urinal or on the toilet? Because there's some funny photos I've seen online of people falling asleep on the toilets. <laughs> Better sober and get your head in the game. I can't even give an old... Can't you even give an old man a chance to enjoy himself? Ah, hell. With you then. Aw. Well, it was the correct response because we can't just, you know, go like... Pfft. Whatever, that's just Bud. No, it's like, hey, Bud, no, no, you messed up, dude. The problem is I'm exhausted. Which means my character is not going to be very efficient. We're down to 48 hours. We're about to get Mishiru and Ryan back. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is figure out what we're going to do about the farmer situation. Oh, he's still available. Oh, well, hey, we didn't actually have to worry about him uh, taking the day off. That's good. Okay. Okay, we need to work on something. And uh, I really want the recycler, but I also really want the chicken coop. Let's do the chicken coop. And it's only 24 hours. Oh, we got this one done. Um... Uh, Okay, you two, done. We got it. C'est magnifique. We are good to go. Uh, where is he? Uh, Max, he is exhausted. We need to take him off. So let's actually change you out and have you do a different job. Okay, the recycler. Davis, we need that generator fixed like yesterday. Doug. Hmm. Get you on the recycler. Joel, um, I think we need you on guard duty so we don't get our fence attacked again. Because uh, we need somebody to watch that, and you're... Uh, you got seven on ranged, and uh, Amelia five, so you're not pathetic. Mishiru unavailable. Uh, I gotta go. I, 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 we're, we're too low on food not to send somebody out. Vic, you're coming with me. 
I need somebody to go with me. Todd, uh, you can't fix the generator, so... Okay, I'm just going to go with this and hope we get back before the 10 hours is up so we don't waste any time. I'm not planning on going for a long trip. I'm just planning on going for a trip. Let's talk to Max just like before. After all, our gym is up, so maybe he'll have a better response. What? Still didn't want to talk about it. Well, the gym is up, so I mean, the fact that you're not wanting to go to it's your own problem. Okay, we'll take horse. Can't take vehicle. Um. Hmm. Okay, we've been up and down here. We've been up and down here. Here. We really haven't been up and down here all that much. This place and this place is pretty much... It, we either we're going to go up and down this road or go up and down this road. I think we're going to head for the 190. Oh. Old church. Let's see what we got. That horse, by the way, we are flying. It, we, we've gone probably what would have taken us two hours so far in-game to travel. Um, I completely forgot to re-equip you. Yeah, you have nothing. I cannot believe I brought Paul into battle and I didn't give him any equipment. This is what he started with right here. Six shots out of an eight-shot pistol and a shovel. Okay, we have some problems. Problem number one is Paul is not prepared for battle. That's a dead guy. He's not a human. Well, Paul, I hope your clobbering skills with that shovel work. Oh, man, it took half his health because he doesn't have any armor. Whoopsie doodles. Um, Paul? He's fall back. You know, I'm going to get right here because I need to take the blow so you don't. Wow, I screwed up big time. Look at that. I got hit. It took just a tiny fraction. He got hit and it nearly killed him. Thank you. Woo! Okay, um... I'm going to heal that gaping wound in your chest that you just got. Sorry about that, my friend. I really dropped the ball on this one. I mean, seriously, that's that's like you get fired from uh, playing sports, <laughs> grilled rat, because of how bad you failed kind of deal. You dropped the ball so bad, you landed in the other end zone. Yeah, I don't think I should have come here. Not with Paul and his condition. I'm getting four attacks in at least. Or two attacks. Or I'm completely missing. Now, 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 now. Hey, at least you hit him. I'm proud of you. See, part of my problem... Oh, good. We got 7.62. Or 7.62 in this game. 
My problem also is because I'm having the uh, issues with my uh, stamina, I'm not hitting very well. I'm missing a lot more than I should be. Uh, let's look at our stats real quick because I really screwed up and Paul shouldn't be here right now. <laughs> I got four points I could put into something. I feel like I need to put stuff into leadership because I'm kind of sucking on uh, all these skills. I'll probably bring it up to even with this as well, and then I'll probably try and max out something like mechanical or ranged. Okay, I like that. Aim for the head. He is great at range, good at melee, great at leadership. And great at survival. Paul, my man, you are an expert. I am glad you are with us, my friend. That is a well-versed character compared to mine and all the others. Actually, Paul, what was your uh, science? You got a two and I got a zero. Hey, uh, Paul, could you do me a favor and see if we can't disarm this alarm? Alarm disarm, good. And since I got the armor, I'm going in first. Kind of wonder if anybody's home. By the way, since the alarm's working, that means there's power here. Which I find to be kind of strange. Anybody's home yet? I was kind of worried that we'd have either a blood. Oh, wait a minute. I was about to say we, I was afraid we'd have undead, but it looks like somebody committed suicide. Yeah, it looks like she uh, did herself in, unfortunately. That's extremely sad. Did I hit the shelf? Yeah, I did. Okay. That would be a nostril full right now. No telling how long she'd been in there. Okay. So with that deplorable situation out of the way... I feel like we need to go up this way and take a look and see if there's anything out there in the front. Any apple trees or this car be rated? No? Okay. Let's go by the windows and see if we can look in. Sometimes this game lets you look through the windows and see what's on the inside. Not this... Oh! You remember what about three episodes I talked about how during a zombie apocalypse or any sort of major disaster, uh, especially when there's a plague involved, do not go to churches, uh, police stations, hospitals, and uh, schools amongst other places because of the chance of uh, infection spreading. That right there tells me there's probably a lot of dead inside. And I'm probably not going to want to go in there, especially when not with Paul without any armor. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, there we go, looking through the window. We got a lot of blood. Come on. At least two. And probably more than that. Okay, let's check this van out. We'll check this house out. We'll clear this out. We'll hit the church another time. We actually got horses, so I could actually probably head back to the uh, stronghold, uh, grab armor, put it on Paul, and come back and hit this place again. Not that that's a good idea, but I could do it. I'm, wor I'm worried we're going to run into a construction worker zombie since this house is under repairs. Hey, rat. Always use more supplies. Those supplies, not so much.
Uh oh. Well, hi, buddy. How are you? I hope you're doing fine. I'm doing fine. Um, I had trouble seeing him. There we go. Well, just focus on me. That is a lot of zombies. That church is full of zombies. I think we're coming back here on another run. We're not, uh, we're not about to attack this place today. Yeah, I had no idea there was this many zombies here. We'll grab a lot of loot, and then we're getting out of here. Because those zombies in the church actually probably got a good bit of supplies on them. But, uh, we still got to survive it. And having Paul without armor, not a good idea. Crack him upside his head. Feed him that melon. As long as Paul doesn't get into one of the four main points, he'll be okay. We just got Paul. We don't need to lose him. I actually think Paul might be better than Vic. I'm, I'm straight up saying it now. I think Paul's a far better uh, candidate for being in a team than Vic is. I'd have to have him on the same team to compare stats, but uh, just going by what I've seen. Kill him! Hmm. On the plus side, we didn't spawn the other zombie into action. Spawn, I mean, uh, activate. I don't know if we'll be able to get behind it. Well, the good news is, I did manage to not allow Paul to get attacked. The bad news is, I didn't get the jump either. And the other bad news, I missed entirely. Owie. <laughs> Paul is kicking some A. Come on over. I don't bite. You do, but I don't. We actually might try to go in the back door of the church. Maybe there's less zombies over there. But the first sign that things have gone sour, we're getting out of here. Well, that was quick. Sweet. Nice. Actually, what is Paul's uh, carry limit? It's 80 for my character and 90 for him, so he can carry a little bit more than I can. Hey, it's unlocked. Paul, get to the back. So far, so good. Hmm. It's one of those deals, if I break it down, I might summon a whole bunch of zombies. Don't hear the pitter-patter of zombie feet. Doesn't look like there's anything in this one. If they're anywhere, they're gathered at the doors right now, so...
sweet. All right. We're going to raid this whole area later. Not right now. All right, so... We're getting out of here until we bring back a team with actual armor and not me being silly. And by silly, I mean completely forgetful. I just realized there's a dead guy underneath that vehicle. I guess he was working on his car when the zombie apocalypse happened and he didn't see it coming. I got chewed up while under there. Okay, so I'm going to head back and uh, quickly re-equip Paul. Ugh. I still don't think two people are going to be enough for that many zombies. We might go to a different location. Or I might just not even uh, go back out. I might just use us to finish up that job and uh, see about working on the next assignment. Backup rifle just in case we need range. Actually, you know what? Why am I taking a rifle when I could take a bow or crossbow? Yeah, I like that plan better. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, we are taking the bow for sure. All right. He's our Legolas now. This is going to be nice. We got an archer with a shield and a uh, classable ass baton. That's a club one-handed. It actually is 20 to 25 where the, uh, the shovel did uh, 20 to 30. So it's only 5% less damage max than the uh, shovel. But it's one-handed, and uh, this is a strength required four with a uh, basic AP cost of five. This is an AP cost of three. He's going to get a lot of swings in with this one. So I'm glad we came back, because he's going to be excellent. But we're over time right now, so thank you everybody for coming to join me. If you like this video, hit that like, subscribe for future content. If you feel like it, leave a comment below, and I'll get back to you in the future. Until next time, everybody, take care and be safe out there, and I'll see you next time.